Now, let's go back to our data and let's scroll down to the very bottom. And let me add another uh, row, 214 peach, oh, P-A-C-H, P peach, uh, fruit, 4,500, 12, 16, 2016, and let's say Mexico, 215, kiwi, fruit, Fifty six thousand twelve thirty two thousand sixteen, and let's give that to New Zealand. Okay, so I've added a couple of extra rows. So I have actually changed my data set, not just updating it, but I added more data to my existing data set. Yeah, 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 you can make as many changes as you want and just refresh once. Absolutely. <clears throat> you don't have to refresh for every change. Um, so now I've added a couple of rows, uh, two extra rows here. Okay, now let's come back to sheet one where I have my pivot table. I right click on my data set and hit refresh. No notice, nothing changes here. Because kiwi and peach are not one of the existing categories, neither they were part of my actual selection. So now comes the question, do I have to recreate the pivot table? No. You do not need to recreate the pivot table. You just need to tell the pivot table that I have more rows for you to consider. And how can you do that? Well, this is how you can do it. You need to go to analyze. And in the analyze tab, click anywhere in the pivot table, click the analyze tab. And you see under data, change data source. Everybody see the change data source? Click on the top button there. And it now shows you that this is the selection criteria I have so far. And notice the selection criteria ends at row 214. So make that four a six, the last one from 214 to 216. And click OK. Oh, because I have multiple data set. Uh, I need to, sorry, I forgot. I need to delete that. You cannot do it with uh, dependencies. So that's why you have to get rid of dependencies. I forgot about that part. Um, change data source, make it 216, and click OK. There you go. So we have Kiwi and Peach added to the list. If there is a dependency, then it won't let you do it.